On this episode of What's Going On With Shipping, the Trinity Spirit explodes off of Nigeria. I'm your host, Sal McCoglano. So reports are coming in about a former tanker, the Trinity Spirit, which has been turned into a distribution platform, has exploded, and 10 crew members who are on board are missing with reports of the ship on fire and a rescue operation taking place as we speak. So let's go ahead to the story and see what we know about it so far. This is the Bloomberg story that was posted. Oil production vessel explodes off the coast of Nigeria. This incident is the second oil facility blowout since November. The company says 10 crew were on board at the time of the accident. The Trinity Spirit, able to store about 2 million barrels of oil, blew up early Wednesday. Shaba Exploration and Production Company, which has the vessel on lease, said in a statement, the ship can process up to 22,000 barrels a day, according to the company's website. While no facilities have been confirmed, uh, no fatalities, excuse me, 10 crew were on board the vessel and exploded, according to Shaba. There is a uh, follow-up story. This one is from Fleetmon with images of it right there, a floating production storage and offloading vessel, Trinity Spirit. Trinity Spirit is not a, a true oil tanker. She's what's called an FPSO, a floating production storage and offloading vessel. What that is, is this. Basically, usually an old tanker is, is done, and that's the case here. This tanker was built back in the mid 70s. And what you do is you equip it with hydrocarbon processing equipment for the separation and treatment of crude oil, water, gases that come on board, usually from subsurface or sub uh, uh, below water surface pipelines. Uh, the oil is transferred into tanks, the, uh, the gas is treated on board the vessel, and then it's either re-injected back into the reservoirs or piped ashore or vessels come alongside to take the oil off. So you repurpose a lot of old vessels for this. FPSOs are some of the largest vessels in the world today. FPSO Prelude, for example, is the largest vessel in the world that is out there. Going back to the story here, According to first information, 10 workers were on board the, facil uh, the facilities, of which seven are missing and three casualties feared. Uh, the uh, incident was confirmed by SEPCOL. If you go over here to their history, they don't have much data right now on this. Go over to Twitter. We do have images coming out here. Play some of these for you so you can see them, and we'll go ahead and get the audio going. So this is one of the first ones we see right here. Obviously a support vessel, an offshore support vessel right there coming alongside. You can see the vessel literally broke in half. Fire has erupted in the ships, storage areas, after area, the house of the vessel is also consumed in this fire. Obviously looking for crew members at this time. This is a recovery operate, a rescue operation which unfortunately may turn into a recovery operation unless they can find more survivors. Come down over here. We got some other videos of it here. This is one I saw earlier. Again, there's there's no hope to save the vessel at this point. I mean, the vessel is fractured, fully involved in fire. What they're out there to do right now is to find crew members and try to rescue those crew members that they can find. Try to see if we could find some more on here. We've got a lot of images and pictures. Obviously, this is a picture that we saw earlier. Obviously, right now, the concern is the crew. These vessels, again, are older tankers. They are not as probably well-maintained. This took place off of Nigeria. We had an incident, as I said, back in uh, November with a blowout in one of these platforms. But now this is obviously a catastrophic event. Looking at marine traffic, uh, it's not really showing much right now. Unfortunately, uh, the vessels right here are not within range, so you can get a feed on the vessels. And this vessel in particular, the Trinity Spirit, is not showing up at all right now. This is the area right here off the coast of Nigeria. Zoom out a little bit right here. This is a huge oil area. Obviously, Nigeria is one of the biggest exports of oil. Uh, red right there are oil tankers coming in and out. So you get the idea about this area being a, a, a big production for oil. Nigeria, one of the leading 
OPEC na nations. So not a lot on the story right now that we have information is still flowing in. Uh, we'll keep you posted and update probably if we hear something new uh, or we will have it in our wrap up on Monday on what the ship in what's going on. Again, uh, oil tanker industry, oil production is always dangerous. We saw earlier in 2021 incidents with a fire eye in, in Mexico, oil leakage from pipelines off California because of dragging anchors, obviously a, a concern in this industry. But this is the latest we have. Uh, if you found this in information interesting, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you'll be alerted about new videos when they come out. Leave a comment, give it a thumbs up, share it across social media. And if you can, contribute to the Patreon page. That allows me the time and effort to go in and do this research for these stories. We'll keep you posted on anything more on this story. The Sal, signing off.